So, we are officially starting now, people. Welcome to the D&D podcast, which is yet to be named. Uh, yes, yet to be named. And we're gonna, I'm gonna introduce myself, I'm Jeremy. Uh, for now, I'm just Jeremy. And that's all you need to know. And we have, like, three of my friends as my players for tonight. So, we're gonna play the Lost Mine of Val of Delve, Vendel, something like that, campaign this night. So, before, like, before we start, we're gonna have our people briefly introduce your characters first. Uh, first, I'll think, I'll say, Ian, you should go first. Alright, hi guys, I'm Ian, and um, my character, I am Ararius, <laughs> Ararius, the half-elf warlock, and uh, I made a pact with the Fae, because, uh, what, were, what were the, <laughs> I don't even remember half the characters, the background lore, uh, yeah, I made a pact with the Fae because uh, my parents received a favor from the Fae, and uh, I worship Titania, so I see myself as a neutral good character. That's about it. Okay, so next maybe Sam, you should go. Okay, I'm Sam. For this campaign I'll be playing Thorin Seahammer, a dwarf cleric of the forge god Dumathoin. Uh, his main motivation is to seek out an ancient relic thought lost long ago. Oh right, mine is to uncover a secret that uh, was lost to the Fae. Yep. Yes, totally. Now, John, introduce your character. Um, my character is Mont <laughs> Montana. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm a Goliath. Um, uh, I like to hit stuff, and I am good at animal handling despite my terrible luck at it. Perfect. Uh, now everyone is properly introduced yourself. I am gonna start the campaign right here and now. In the city of ne Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker asks you to bring a wagon, wagon knoll of proficiency to the rough and tumble settlement of Vandalin. A couple of days travel southeast of the city, Gundren was clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brothers had found something big, and that he paid you 10 gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barfin's proficiency. A trading post in Phandalin. He then set out ahead of you on a horse, along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwinter, claiming he needed to arrive early to take care of some business. You spend the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, and you've just recently veered east along the Tribor Trail. You've encountered no trouble so far, but this territory could be dangerous. Bandits and outlaws have been known to lurk along the trail. So basically, you guys are on a wagon. So we need two people to drive in front of the wagon, and one can sit in the back. So who will be driving the wagon? Not it. Okay. We need two people to drive the wagon. One to steer the. Oh. Animals and want to like I don't know like hey, whip Mr. them a little animal bit. Handling. Yeah, you, you you have animal handling. Dude. You you go I, steer the. Did, did you trust my luck in animal handling? You said you're good at it. Mm, no such thing right. as luck in the D and D world, man. Come on, get in character. <laughs> all right then. And I am finally awake. So you guys sit in the back and be finally awake. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, I guess I will. What am I help by? So, so how do you drive this thing? Carriage? No, you, you just whip it a little bit. Now we're just moving along the road. Because now, 
everything is chill. The wagon is like packed with like mining supplies and food. All those like stuff for like a good old regular miner. And your cargo is actually worth quite a bit. There's a hundred GP worth of cargo, so it's a quite an expensive cargo. So, you've been on the Triboar Trail for about half a day. As you come around a bend, you spotted two dead horses sprawled around 50 feet ahead of you, blocking the path. Each has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. The woods cross close the trail here, with a steep embankment and dense thickets on either side. So we want a pretty thick, like, grassy place. Two dead horse body in front of you. Anyone around? Oh. Hey, guys. I see two dead horses over there. Maybe maybe we should check it out. I, I see, like, maybe there's something interesting going on right there. Well, it looks like they've been shot. Speak up, Sam. It looks like they've been shot. So, like, do we see anyone who we think maybe shot them? Give me Is a, there anyone nearby? Yeah, give me a good old perception check. All three of us? Yes. Oh, fuck. Natural 20. <laughs> Hell <Nope>. yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you definitely gonna see something. So you can see a few goblins just hiding on the side, waiting to ambush you, but now that you see them, two of them started like rushing in front of you while the other two like on the backside start readying a bow. Oh, now this looks bad. Initiative. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, in instant combat, Jesus. Uh, check in it. Oh wow, we're all <laughs> shit here, wow. Wow, we're you guys fast. so... Let We're me surprised, roll. even though we saw them. We're still surprised. Let me roll my own d20. Oh, suddenly I remembered a character flaw of mine. I guess that I cannot keep secrets to save my own flesh, much less to keep other people's oh, secrets. Oh, Actually, crap. just saying, I didn't roll too good, so actually, I am actually going after Sam. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yes. Well... Because I was driving the cart, I kind of left my shield in the back. And since they're using bows and arrows, I'm going to want to go and get my shield first. Okay, so you like run back, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to duck into the cart, pick up my shield, and then like uh, hop off and I guess walk towards them. Okay. Like the goblins are now pretty close to you, right? You're like like face to like now you guys now you are face to face with the two frontline goblins. Bring it. So, I don't okay. think can I attack or no? You grab your shield and yeah. rush towards them. So yeah, I so that's think. yeah that's two action already. So you like okay. grab your shield. And shield. Fair enough. Fair enough. And now my goblin shall act. So the first goblin, take a little swing at you. Bring it. Roll a good old d20. Just stealth. 18. 19. I 19? Have, yeah. I have mm. roll 9. And my goblins have a plus 4 to hit. So it's 13. Jesus. No. By the way, should we lock the the, the room? The, the voice room? The chat room? You way to ruin the mood, John. <laughs> yeah, let's just lock it. I'm gonna keep those gonna, in. Because we're not gonna record those voices in, you know, Discord other than us four. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those in. So why does it matter? Because I mean, we have all audio local anyway. Yeah, that's true. Like, we don't need to lock it. Yep. Also, mm. it reads D&D podcast, so like, what? who's gonna come, come in, in and interrupt us? Exactly. Mm. Oh yeah, it's a 13 to, 13 to hit. No. Didn't hit. See? You can't just say it. <laughs> DM can't say it feels bad. You're supposed to be on everyone's side. Oh yes, See, I'm definitely I'm, on I'm everyone's so side. In my head, I'm like, I knew I picking up that shield was the best choice. Exactly. The goblins, goblins no, swing a little bit and miss. 
And then the second goblin attack. We still have two goblins and you're still in the front line. The second goblin attack is a critical failure. <laughs> Wow! Wow! <laughs> now wow! Your goblins have, suck. You have a you have an attack opportunity on those poor goblins who just like swing his thing, swing his little scimitar and just like oh, miss completely, it. giving you a little attack opportunity. Oh, um, I guess I'll just swing my warhammer at them. Then, yeah. <laughs> there you that go. Is definitely a hit. Oh, wow. And it hurts pretty badly. Uh, you can see like that goblin you just hit. Like oh, swinging so, around so... a little bit. is losing his balance, yeah. definitely. A 20 and 6 damage. It's very bloodied. Haha. Uh -huh. Goblins. <laughs> and then... I don't speak goblins, so I don't feel bad about this. <laughs> and then the two in the back is gonna take a shot. At their biggest target. Oh, the Goliath. Montana, yes. Of course. I'm just shoot. I roll a 19. Oh, it hits. It oh, hits. Well. I am gonna roll two damage dice. Oop. Ouch. Oop. One and a two. That's two. That is seven damage. Wow. Wow. Ouch. The Goliath is about to die and we haven't even begun our adventure yet. This is just on the road there are goblins, like... Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And now... It's the Goliath's turn. Do you have, like, medicines or bandages <laughs> in, in, in the wagon? Yeah, what food. are we carrying in terms of supplies? Although, if you're carrying supplies with someone, personally, I wouldn't use them for personal yeah. game. Oh, true. We're getting paid anyway. Hmm. How far? How far am I? How far is it between me and uh, archers? Running distance. You can run and smack them if you want to. The last are pretty or fast too. I want to run to grab one of them as a meat shield. Oh. Which one? Okay. Like the frontliners or the backliners? Frontliners. Okay, so which one? The bloodied one or the non bloodied <laughs> one? It would be funny if I grabbed the bloody one, wouldn't it? That's your uh, choice, man. Yeah. Mm. But, but the bloody one is less, less likely to resist, so. That's true. He's I'll also less it. likely to take arrows, because. Well, if... I mean, it's a, it's if dead, you still block arrows, you know? <laughs> that okay. is actually I'll, I'll, true. I'll... <laughs> I've seen a lot of movies. Bodies block everything. Bullets, arrows, lasers, also, explosions. I'm, pro I'm probably strong enough to just grab them and snap their neck, wouldn't, wouldn't it? Actually... Uh, that's how up much to the DM. Yeah, that's up to the DM. And I will say to... you have to do a strength competition with the bloodied goblin, but the bloody goblin will have a disadvantage. Oh wow, he... like... Goliath has 19 strength, but like... Uh... <laughs> yep, he's just gonna like rack the I'm, I'm gonna take my chances and try on the healthy one. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, time to grab. Okay, roll a strength check, and I will please roll my strength check. Please, please don't kill me. Uh... I roll a 9. Oh, oh wow. This is, close. this is actually <laughs> close. That is actually pretty low. So, you grab the goblin, and you try to like snap his little neck. And I will say that is, uh... Hmm. You know about grappling, right? I would have, I will see, like, another strength check to see, like, can you actually break his bones or whatever. Because you're now trying to, like, do some another assassin. One? All right. oh. Nasty Wait. things. Nasty. Oh, oops. Oh, Sorry. Hold yep. On. That's animal no, 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 handling. No, no. That's animal <laughs> handling. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was like... Wow. <laughs> Like you, you can't, can't handle. Oh no! <laughs> you can't call goblins animals. <laughs> so That's okay. racist. You roll an extremely high, and you just snap. You just straight up like turn his neck around. Now he's just like gonna <laughs> good turn, <laughs> and you hear crack like ah. Yeah, that that <laughs> thing <laughs> dead. That thing is very <laughs> dead. 
Yeah, so like we have one right. goblin down. Next snap. And I now, I now, I and I now have a shield as well. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I'll give Improvised you, shield. I'll give you. Half wait, 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 wait. Can I attempt to intimidate the archers? No, I don't. Now think you do. Is... You do enough stuff. Yeah. Damn it! All right. All right, like. Yes. Now is Ararius. Ararius is just woken up, and aha! I'm finally awake. Hey, guys! Did you know that goblins are weak to Eldritch Blast? <laughs> so I'm just going to Eldritch Blast. Uh, what? Uh, one of the archers that was shooting towards towards uh Montana, and I'll just shoot at a random one. I don't even want to. Okay, just give him a good shot. Uh, how did I improve my damage fires? Cast. How do I do a? I think exclamation cast uh, Eldritch. Cast Eldritch. Okay. I know Eldritch. Cast. Did you select? Oh, you may not have selected your spells under the D and D Beyond thing. It's fine. You just make a spell attack roll. Yeah, easy. just roll a D twenty, then add your spell attack. I think so, it's your charisma, no? Which should be your charisma modifier plus two. Oh wow! So roll d twenty. Boom! Oh. Is it's, that, it's a crit, is it? my dudes. It's a crit, um, my dudes. Bam. And then that's plus four, so twenty-four. And uh, it's a crit. Only ten of damage. So. Well, you you double the dice. Yeah, you double the dice. Because boy, got crit. crit. Oh, two d ten. No, no, just roll. Well, actually, it depends on how you want to do it. Some people roll one die and then roll the dice and then double. Some people just roll double the dice. Yeah, just do a double die is easier. And now you just, like, you use your beam of energy, Eldritch Energy, you just shoot at that poor goblin in the background. You just got, like, disintegrated, like, <laughs> gone to dust and ash. It's just, like, now on the ground, it's just ashes. Hey, guys, and... what did I tell you? They're weak to the Eldritch Blast. I learned this from Face School. <laughs> And well, the you other right. goblin, the other goblin, freak <laughs> out and start running. Oh, <laughs> uh, the archer? Yeah, the other archer that is not bloodied, like, start running. Like, I'm gunning it. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm would, done. Yeah. He's just like running towards the thick the thick bushes. Like. We should oh, not let it okay. escape. He could be finding more reinforcements. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, that is a very true. There's still one vaguely injured guy with us, though. Oh yeah. So Can I have a second to interrogate him? Oh, that too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I I agree on let's interrogate him. I would say Let combat is it. still on, though. The what? Combat is still on. It's Sam's turn. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm just gonna beat him over the head with my hammer again. <laughs> Since he's next Not to killer. me, I'm gonna like if I can do like I don't know, use the back of the hammer. You want to non-lethal him? Wait, all of it's flat. You want to non-lethal him? Yeah. Okay, we'll do a non-lethal hammer smack. Okay, wow. Yeah. Well, it's very non-lethal. Does it even <laughs> hit? I don't think it hits. Does a twelve hit? It's not. Twelve doesn't hit. Twelve doesn't hit. Damn it. You try to like do a non-lethal smack on the goblin. Uh, it's so hard to hold back. Yep. You swing that way could... too hard and it just miss. That could Ish. just be a way to intimidate. Oh, I guess. It's d don't don't run, please. <laughs> <laughs> and the goblin is like kind of freaked out and just looked at you and was like. Eh. Like, he's like, I don't, don't hurt me. Oh, he's speaking in common now. Oh, wow. Like, don't okay. hurt me. That's a good point. I forgot none of us speak goblin. Yeah, the well, goblin. Well, I don't speak goblin. I don't know about you guys. Let me handle it. Yeah, goblin. Oh, okay. Help. All right. I don't listen, think I speak. Don't kill. Wait, is, it, is my turn yet? Yeah. Com com combat is over. So goblin right. be panicking. And the All other right. guy you, ran you away. You better tell us. You better, you better tell us something useful. You, or you end up just like this little meat shield over here. Roll intimidation, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. Roll that intimidation with an advantage because you have a body of his comrade. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
Oh. <laughs> do it again. Well, you, have again. Advantage. You, have a, you have advantage. So, what? So, how much? Just do another. Just yeah. do it again. Okay. Check in timid. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He is not very afraid of you, but he'd be how? like, just don't hurt me. Just let me go. And, and then I, I always think we'll be fine. Um, okay, I'm going to go ask him a few questions if you don't mind. Oh, you're the one who vaporized one of his friends. <laughs> All right. Hey, my goblin bass. So, what do you know about this cart? What do you know about the 100 gold pieces hidden inside? Like, uh, are you here <laughs> okay, to steal okay, it? Okay, okay, okay. We not maybe reveal the value of what's in the cart. Hey, how do you know there's so much money inside the cart, huh? Oh, God. Wait, tell me, wait. tell me all the things you know. If, if, or, or you're gonna get an Eldritch Blast to the face like your f little friend behind there. I get, get an intimidation. Oh, do my sign. Do my sign, please save me from these awful, awful traveling companions. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. He is very insane. Like, okay, so, like, uh, uh, we, we got held by boss. Boss say we, we, like, loot car and, like, capture important people. Then get important people back to, like, boss. Can so, I? Yeah, boss need important dwarf man. Can I inside check him? Yes. Wanna see if he's lying or not. Do an inside check. Not great. Nine. You're not great, but you're pretty sure he has he has something. Saying something about the dwarf man is pretty true. It mm. seems true. Who, who is a dwarf man? I thought our wagon was only us three and a bunch of loot. Yeah, well, what's his face went ahead, right? Oh okay. So they attacked Wait, so... our wagon. So, so, they attacked, what's his face? Gundren. Yes, Gundren? And they, and his warrior companion? Yes. He had a warrior, oh. Silly. Wait, oh. So, they're in front and they got attacked already. Yes, we take Dwarf Man. Dwarf Man through Goblin Path. Back to home. So... Oh, right, so that's where the horses came from. Okay, though, so that's <laughs> what the dead horses are on the ground. Uh... I'm smart. I, I remember. It all makes sense now. <laughs> so don't hurt me. I, I bring you through Goblin Trail. Goblin Trail oh. has many traps. But then wow. don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Wait, Let Goblin hold on. go. You said there are arrows on dead horse, right? Yeah. Should unplug them for additional resources just in case. I can't I mean, shoot arrows, I only have a crossbow. I have oh. a crossbow. Wait, does it not work? Oh. Right. Technology. <laughs> arrows crossbow and is crossbows use... different. Yeah. Use, I use crossbows. bolts. Oh, right. Arrows are useless. Okay, Actually, no, them. that's not true. I mean, we can, you can use the arrows as a stick to activate certain traps. Don't you have a sword? Yeah, if or you want to take the arrows, just take the arrows, man. Alright, I'll take the arrows. I have some use for them, but... Yeah, just go ahead and grab them. I'm not arrows. interested. Just add they them like, they're just basic, like, wooden arrows, right? Yeah, add some, like, Whatever. normie arrows to your infantry. What's some mean? Five? How many? Are the horses can... alive? I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for how many arrows you recover. I'm gonna roll okay. d6 for that. Uh, One! Everything else <laughs> is broken. Are the horses alive? No, the horses are very dead. Oh. The horses are very, very dead. Poor oh, horses. Alright, then, I guess. I get one. Wait, one broken arrow? Yeah. No, one no, normal one arrow. No, one normal arrow. Everything okay, else is broken. Are useless. Yeah, those are useless. Hi, little gobby man. I trust you. You're gonna lead us to your hideout, are you? Yes, yes. Lead the like, way. Yes, yes. Uh, like, half, half there. Question. He points like in the far side. Yeah. Who's going to stay with the cart? With all of the hundred gold that's in it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we kinda of forgot about that, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to leave it out on this on the just on the open path. Tra is I a trail, right? The wagon can come with us, can't you? Yeah, there's come enough on, space. <laughs> that is Why enough. Goblin Wait. trail wide. Goblin trail is wide. Wide enough okay. for wide enough for a cart. 
Okay. Why is he bleeding? Or something? Is uh, like is the goblin gonna look like he's gonna die? No, like, I did hit him he in is the face very with dizzy, hammer. but like he is kind of in a weak state, but he will not just like straight up drop dead and die. Okay. He is kind of stable. Okay. Okay. So the goblin like points at the far away like bush side. Like you won't like like realize it's there until like unless he like points you to that like kind of like ward off path by all these like vines and bushes. So he leads you to the trial and it leads to an, an, a rather like wider road and area. Before we go, should we do something about the horses? Oh yeah. Kind of don't like having them just on the side of the road. You, you, you want to butcher them? No, god no. Ooh, meat. Uh, no. We should bury them or something. <laughs> or at least, you know, put them in the forest. So the animals, you know, or, you know, nature can take its course. Is there like an invisible spell or something you can use? You can't just cast invisible on them and expect them to go away. <laughs> They're dead, you can't th How long is no. the spell gonna last? This smell would still be a problem. I, I, I think. I, I guess we could, we could just leave the horses and then someone might report it too. Yeah, let the car. Maybe that's it. the best thing. Can we shrink the horse and carry it with us? They're dead. Aren't you pretty big? Why don't you just carry them full size? Oh yeah. Can I do that? Yeah, sure. If you want to <laughs> carry a dead horse body. All right. <laughs> Adding. <laughs> Dead horses into your inventory. Uh, <laughs> are you sure you don't want to have encumbrance for this run through? No, but you're gonna carry a big dead horse on your shoulders. That's not gonna be encumbrance. Well, that means he's gonna have to walk next to the cart, right? Or behind the cart. Or in front, I don't know. It's up to you. Yeah. Because I assume our cart also has horses. No, those are oxes. Oh, sorry, oxes. Okay. Ah, oh, we should have killed the oxes, ate the meat, and used the horses. The horses can't pull anything, so they're dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Goblin is killing horses and not. Uh, so I, I, so I have a dead goblin and a dead horse on me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> What's with this Goliath and colli collecting corpses? I, I don't know, and I don't really want to ask. I know there are some in my faith who are quite obsessed with with. The grave and death but you don't strike me as a man of faith on Montana I don't care I thought not <laughs> exactly well. so the goblin like turned back to you be like so are we gonna move on everyone's the, good right the goblin path yep. all right all right let's go then let's go my goblin friend lead the way so on the goblin trail. Don't try trail, anything funny. On the goblin trail, the goblin rock in front of you. He, he like tell turn back a few times and tell you there's trap over there. Be careful, don't step. Oh, there's like I'm a snaring trap. Him so hard for this. Yep. There's like a snare trap. Just probably gonna like tie you up to his. Sixteen. You can inside trap the man, and he is saying truth. Cause now I think you see the, see like the way he is pointing. There's like a little rope on the ground. Probably if you step on it, he's gonna like hang you upside down and stuff. Hey, I wouldn't be so mindful of him. If he does anything funny, he's gonna get an eldritch blast to the face. Yes, nothing, no funny business. Yes, yes. Uh, to 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 no. goblin hideout. Yes. But if he's a prisoner, we should tie him up, right? That's what. That's what normally you do. I have some rope, I'm gonna tie him up. Okay. Or at least yeah. like hands behind the back, so he can still walk around. But... I'd say like... chop off his hands. Wow, like halfway through, halfway through walking through the trap that he just revealed to us, you're gonna <laughs> not be happy with them anymore, no, Tyo. And can't... one of you is even gonna <laughs> chop his hands. Absolutely not. I'm just following prisoner convention, you know. That's like, all. Like, that's why I'm the neutral good here. And, like, I can't believe you're doing this to the poor goblin who's, wait, wait, like, wait, hold on, hold on. What's, what's my alignment again? 
<laughs> I, don't I don't know what know. your alignment is. You decide your alignment. Yeah? <laughs> neutral good. It is not neutral good. <laughs> Whatever you are, um, neutral uh, good it is not. <laughs> I think I'll be counting neutral at this point. Yeah. No, I'm and, lawful good because I'm just trying to follow the rules. Yes, the indeed. rules are if you have a prisoner, you tie them up. True. Mm, if you say so. So Sam, you tie him. So like, so just his hands behind his back. So, so he can okay. still talk and walk and stuff. But okay. So like you tie us. when you tie up the goblin, like the goblin, be like, I don't think this is necessary. Like I'm it's honest. It's not goblin. More about what's necessary. I'm just following procedure. Okay. Carry on then. He just like continues walking, and then he like kind of like wiggles his head a little bit. And like point in front with his like pointy nose and show you that in front that there's a pit <laughs> that is being very nicely camouflaged. So normally if you walk towards it, which is like if you're like slightly, if you're like kind of like goblin weight, you'll probably just fall down. So now you avoid that thing. And then you have reached your hideout. Ooh. So, following the goblin's trail, you come across a large cave in the hillside five miles from the scene of the ambush. A shallow stream flows out of the cave mouth, which is screened by dense briar thickets. A narrow dry path leads into the cave on the right-hand side of the stream. So we are in a cave now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna check if boss man, uh, dwarf, and, and his warrior friend is inside. So I'm just gonna yell. Oh god. Okay. Hey there! Hey, uh, boss man, dwarf man, and, uh, warrior, are you, are you in there? We, we heard from this goblin that you've been kidnapped and all, and, uh, all the hundred gold is still here. And, uh, uh, we were wondering if you need any help down there. The goblin turns around to you, kind of like a panicky face, like, No, this is gonna get, get me to trouble, get me into trouble. Should oh, I yeah, have this, you here? This goblin friend has been very helpful. He, he's led us through this little path here. That's how he got here, by the way. No, no, don't, don't tell them that. <laughs> like, the goblin, like, visibly being panicked. And just, like, wiggles around. <laughs> Oh, trying to run dead, away. Hey, don't panic. You still need to ring a stand there. He like the goblin like runs towards the cave entrance. <laughs> it's like he can still run, right? He just like runs yeah, towards yeah. the cave entrance when you when you're like shouting. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess uh I guess I scared him off, didn't I? <laughs> I guess. At least he can't attack us. You see? I did the right thing. Alright, uh, I guess you're gonna have to go inside then. I see. Yeah. response, by the way. Like, from my whole shouting and... <laughs> yep. I just wanna know. Okay, there was response. Yeah, you hear some, like, movement sound from the cave. So, people in there are mobilizing. <laughs> Oh. So, yeah. Are they running or are they charging towards us? So on maybe, the east maybe side, they're preparing a greeting. Yeah, so on the east side of the stream, there's a, from the water flowing cave mouth, a small area that with like bare thickets has hollow out for a lookout post. There are some like ragtag like wooden planks just like make for a guard room. And you can see two goblins now looking at your way because you literally screamed at them. <laughs> yes, hello. We we want to do a prisoner exchange. Um, we let our prisoner go, so so you let one go too. That's how it works. Oh wait, you I know I, this. Wait, I want to hide my meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to do a stealth check, John. <laughs> Oh, Mon no. Montana, do a stealth check of how well you hide that body behind yourself. What? I'm Goliath! It's a goblin! Oh, yeah. oh boy. Matter of. 
Oh, how quickly. <laughs> okay. That's you, a 14. You do it pretty quickly. Like, maybe the guard goblins are distracted by Arara Ararias shouting and then notices you, like, carrying one of their dead goblin friends. <laughs> And the two of them has raised their bows and pointed towards you. I want you to roll initiative again. Oh. <laughs> Can I do some convincing? Can I do some charisma? Hey, after you do your, after oh, you do boy. your good old. Oh wow! That's, oh, wow. I rolled a two, and I rolled a four. All right. Um, and uh, let's Arareas. see. Check in it. Ooh. It's a 15. Ooh, it's a 15. So, I have Reyes will go first. And my goblins will go second. And then... Montana. Montana right, uh, will go. Wait, hold on. When so... I tap, do, do I still have my meat shield with me? Can I, like, use it to block? You hide it. Yeah, you now it's just it behind your body. You can okay. still, like, pull it out. <laughs> Alright, at least I have a meat shield and a dead horse. Okay, uh... So... Before I, uh, before anything, I'm gonna try to reason with them. Like, um, if they're inside the guardhouse, yeah, they're not walking out. Like, you're basically yeah. like on the outside of the cave, and they are like in the semi indoor, but okay. it's like a lookout. Okay, so if they can reach us, my my eldritch blast can reach them, right? Yes, your eldritch okay. blast can reach everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I'm just gonna try to convince them, so I'm gonna try to do a, whatchamacallit, um, convince, like, not intimidation, uh, the other one. Hmm, what's the other one? That's not deception. It's just a normal charisma roll. Right, uh, alright, I wanna go like, hey guys, yeah, yeah, don't wanna be doing that, cause, you see, I, two of your friends just did that and, I, I know from Fae teachings that you you folk are weak to Eldritch Blast, right? So if you try anything funny, you are going to die. I'm I'm literally serious. I'm not even joking here. Your friend of yours just got vaporized back there and the other guy ran away. So you you don't want to try this, okay? I wanna see what their reaction is before I What's the tower made out of? I see that I, uh, wooden, wooden, wooden planks. Excellent. And stuff. I see that as an intimidation. Okay. Okay. Because you're threatening them with like Eldritch Blast vaporization. That's about right, actually. Yes. <laughs> Natural one. They are not afraid at all, and yeah, they continue pointing their bows at you. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I cast Eldritch Blast since I <laughs> used one action there. Yep. <laughs> I'm Eldritch Blast. Point. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, plus, plus plus four for my charisma. Oh, so that seven. is a hit. No, plus four plus. plus That's four still six. a hit. Because proficiency is. Uh, That's still gonna be a hit. <laughs> so it's plus six. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, now I'll roll a d10. One d10. <laughs> oh. Okay, That's you shoot painful. you shoot a pretty convincing amount of energy of Eldritch Blast towards one of the guard goblins. It hits them, but it seems it's only faced them a little bit. They like they have to put down the bow a little bit, but then they re-aim it at you. I, it's not great. <laughs> this is supposed to you're supposed to be weak to it! <laughs> I think that that's my turn over and over. Yep, it is your I'm, turn over. He can still move, I guess. Aquarius well, is I, shocked I, in disbelief. Yeah, he can still move. Because you only still... use a bonus action, and you use a normal action, and you can still move. True. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna move, because, like, I'm just... I just did the thing I was gonna do, and now I'm just gonna be here, like, ranting. You're supposed to be weak to it! <laughs> You're not supposed to... You're supposed to be vaporized! I don't get it! And Ararius continued to rant how the <laughs> goblins, like one of the goblins just shoot, trying to shoot Ararius. Oh god. 
And it's a five and a plus four to hit. That's a nine. I have 11. Oh, that's almost a hit. Yep. Like it goes dangerously close to you, but it still doesn't hit. And the other goblin, now that realized that the Goliath on the side is using a dead goblin as a meat <laughs> shield. So they decide to take revenge on their comrades and shoot at that Goliath. Uh, I use it. I use the dead horse as a meat shield. Fourteen to hit. What's your AC? You will have a plus two to that because you're using the dead horse as cover. <laughs> I thought it was yes, a goblin. Yeah. You, you, are you gonna use the dead horse or are you the, gonna use a well, goblin? The, the, the dead horse is bigger. That's true. Okay. It's still gonna get you half cover though, so that's a plus two. What, what's your AC? His AC is 16, I think. Oh, then that definitely doesn't hit. Like, the arrow just like goes into the dead horse's body. Excellent. A patrock! An extra arrow to the body. Alright, is, is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Um, what about? Oh how, yeah. How? Right. Hold on. Their tower. How well structured it is? Is it? It is like built on the side of the rock, so it won't like fall down completely. So it's not a separate like construction. It's more like a build out from the cave. You get what I mean? I want to throw a dead horse at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. That is a strength check and a, I will say a dex check to see if you hit it. Oh, for uh, accuracy. Yeah, for strength accuracy. First. Let's do a strength first, see so if you can actually throw it. Oh, yeah, you excellent. can definitely throw right, it. Uh, Let's see if you like hit it with your horse. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, the goblin, like... They stare at the dead horse body that is like twice their size, like <laughs> flying their way to their outpost. It hits them, like like both of them, like on their like their guard post. Like it destroyed like half of their guard post. Like but like I will say they take a small amount of damage, which is like uh say a one D four of damage from the impact. Ooh. I'll roll that. Yep, one of them seems getting hit pretty square and square by that thing. He is like slightly more damaged than before, and the other one, who was previously hit by the Eldritch Blast, also seemed that way. They're not like super, they're not super bloodied, but they are like a little damaged, quite damaged. Am I, do, I, do I still have a turn? You can still move. Okay. I wouldn't. <clears throat> Shoot us again. And your fate will be the same as that dead horse and his meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just wow. so intimidation. Much intimidation going on. Every, intimidation. Oh, oh, please don't be the please don't be the animal handling of this. Oh, excellent. oh, they are very afraid and they start retreating into the cave. They start running. They're running back inside the cave. So now you cannot maybe, see them. Maybe they're gonna go get the prisoners now. <laughs> Can I retrieve so... the dead horse? <laughs> Can I retrieve the dead horse? He says. Okay. <laughs> Quote I feel like day. you've desecrated the body enough. I mean, it's horse really deserves good. to rest. It's... Man. it's dead. I don't care. Wow, neutral evil showing through. Not, not neutral evil, this is chaotic evil, Jesus. That's not okay. Like, I won't say that's chaotic evil, he's just not too respectful to dead bodies. Yeah, have some respect. <laughs> like, like, no respect for dead bodies. It's, a, it's our dead or we, get, or we get shot. Our our friend, our... our, 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 our you already our, have a body shield. I'm One is enough. dead. Yes, and if you take the horse again, I'm not going to heal you. All oh, right, he's a cleric. He oh yeah, right. Cleric. All right, fine. I won't take the horse then. Please heal me. <laughs> <laughs> you promise not to take the horse. I promise. Do we okay. still have the wagon behind us? 
Yeah, like the wagon is still behind you. But so I, I don't think gonna... you can take yeah. the wagon with you inside the cavern. Because like the path doesn't allow it. It's quite a narrow path inside the cavern. So who's going to guard the wagon then? Who's the least dead? Well, both Sam and I are... Well, both... Both untouched. Yeah, both Thorin and I are not. I would yeah, say, but... like, you're in a pretty, like, secluded part of the area, so you're pretty sure there's, like, no one gonna, like, mess with your wagon in the middle of a goblin cave. So, you're pretty sure it's fine there. Hmm, it's not 100%, though. Yes, it's 100%. Like, this <laughs> is, like... The DM is gonna... you, just leave the wagon, for fuck's sake. Yeah, n nothing is gonna, like, happen to that wagon. All right. Okay. Then I will right. cast healing uh, cure wound. Boom. Wow, I wait. rolled a one. That sucks. So wait, so you, so you take four hit points. You heal four health. Four health. All right. So I'm a, I'm a twelve. Awful roll. Oh well. Now, you are in that area that is the cave mouth. You can see a path that is leading inside the cave. Is it like lit or no? It's kind of lit. Right. It's like not super bright, but it's good enough for you to see. Well, I don't really need light anyway, so. If we're gonna go in, I'm going to announce our entrance. That's. You know, you, like you know this? what? That might work out well for us. Go for it. But I want to be in front. Okay. Hi, boys! I suppose you're inside then. Uh, we're coming in. Just wait down there. Uh, we're, I don't think we see anyone in the forest, so I'm just we're just going to leave the cart with the 100 gold out here. We're oh. coming in. Okay, after you that. announce yep, after hey. you announce your presence, like you didn't you didn't see like you didn't see or hear any quick movement inside the cave. And then you can just like walk towards the cave now. Okay. Let's do that. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so just inside the cave now, a few uneven stone steps led up to a small dank chamber on the east side of the path. The cave narrows to a steep fissure at the far end and is filled with the stench of animals. Savage snarls and the sounds of rattling chains greet your ears when where two wolves are chained up just inside the opening. Each oh. wolf's chain lets to an iron rod driven into the face of stalagmite. You're just facing These are two pretty angry wolves. Do they look like they're being mistreated or are they just attacking us because they're guarding? They are just pretty pissed. They are just angry wolves in general. They don't, they are, they are very, they, they are not malnourished. They are pretty healthy. Okay. Can we get, like, get past them without, you know, like, can we get past them without going close to them? No, or they're it's not, it's the not wide enough. It's not oh. wide enough. They're just in the way. I don't really want to kill them. I hear doubles. Come here. Oh, uh, I want to roll an animal handling to try to get them to be friendlier and let us pass through. Okay. I hear doubles. We need to get past so we can reach our friends. So, here, uh, would you kindly move out of the way for us, please? Uh, check him. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Natural wow. wow. They all, like, show out. They now just, like, be good dog. Act like more a dog fairy, than a wolf. Guys. <laughs> fairy boy to the rescue. <laughs> can yep. we befriend them? They're chained to the you can try break the chain please no want to. oh please fine don't. fine leave them alone they're not your dogs that would constitute stealing basically if you 
try to take them. That's against the law. Mm. So, in front of you, you can see like the stream is on your left side, and you are walking on a stone path, and you can see, like the stream is streaming downwards. So it's streaming downwards towards you. You can walk, continue to walk upwards, deeper and deeper into the tree. Oh, I want to clean my weapon while I'm here. Your weapon. Yeah, I hit some guy in the face. It's dirty. I gotta clean it. <laughs> okay, oh. you clean your weapon. Okay, uh, like, 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 kind of clean it on the way. Or... Didn't have yeah. a chance. Don't have water. Ah, yes. Running so water. The, so the you main know? passage of the cave mouth climbs steeply upward. The stream plunging and splashing down its wet side, and the shadows. Side passage leads west across the other side of the So you can there's like another west passage you see. Which is kind of steep. I'm gonna and there is also a forward. Like this is a split path. Like forward follow the stream to upwards or there's like a side path. Like I can't the... make I can't make the decision on my own, so I'm going to uh yell out again of course oi dwarf man we're in the cave now like which way are you again can you like if you're not dead just just share it your name or something I, I don't even remember your name by the way so now Dundra. you hear some rocks like moving and then you hear a huge amount of water gushing down and you can see the start to overflow a little bit. The water is surging down from the upper side. Oh. It's like the water flooding down now. Now, I will have you guys. Let's see. Some saving throws. As a being like. Oh shit. Using what water have I to done? like. <laughs> what have I done? We may get, we may be about to get a lot more wet. You will need to do a dexterity saving throw to avoid being oh, swept away. Oh, oh. Dexterity, okay. At least it's I am not good, good at dexterity. Oh. Uh, is this just a normal check? No, exclamation mark save. Yep, it's a save. It's a dex. What's, what's the difference? Uh, if, if you're, if you have proficiency in saving throws. That gets you bonus. Oh well, even I dodged it. <laughs> okay, so like Doran and Montana like this like make sure make an effort to be avoid being swept away, like hold on to something on the wall and stuff. And now Ararius is like flushing downstream a little more, but like he sees and like you, you see there are some places you can still hold on to, so you can like do a Strength saving throw to see you can hold on to the side of the thing before like getting like totally washed away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Then. That's a natural one. Yeah, you get like completely knocked away by the water and like flush inside of the cave. Can I, can I save cave. him? <laughs> no, he's unsavable. He's a crit. He crit failed. Oh. <laughs> He got flushed back out. Wait. Well, yep. The dogs, outside the are the street. dogs downstream as well? No, they're like in the side room. So oh. like, this is like the main passage, and the dog, pe the dogs are on like the side rooms. Okay. So they won't be like directly flooded. You know what I mean? So, so I get sent out to the end. I will say you will take one d6 of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh... Let me roll my d6. Wait, aren't you nearly dead? Oh, is it, oh, that's that's. You take two damage. <laughs> oh, that's surprisingly light. Yep. All right, good answer. I think I know they're up there. Oh, up it is. What if they do it? Oh, well, nah. They probably ran out of water. Let's, should we wait? A hey, Mon Montana. Should we wait for Aurelius, or should we just go ahead? Hmm. He's the one with the Kamehameha, so I think we should wait. The what? <laughs> <laughs> a 
apparently that's one of his character traits. He just breaks out of character. He breaks out of universe, apparently. He glimps into an alternate universe. Joe is not linger. I've seen too much gop plays of a show called Goblin Slayer to know what happened if we linger for too long. I've I've no idea what you're talking about. What's a don't play? well don't worry. About I know it. what a play is. I've never heard of Goblin Slayer. A play that sounds boring. It is a show of a. Never mind. We sh we should make a decision soon. I'm gonna inch back towards them with my wet clothes and all. Oh dear. About Goblin Slayer the play. <laughs> yes, and then like you like, you guys are regrouped and all drenched and wet. Oh, and I wish I could do something for you, but I can't. And you can see some like you can hear some goblin sound like like moving around. Are they, they're, they're probably are they, gonna try to check if there's still like intruders around. They are very alert now. Mm hmm. So, at this point, I think I know enough about Arareus that he's going to announce our presence. Hey, boys! <laughs> God damn it. How dare you wash water down down this path, eh? I, I, I would not sit. I do not take kindly to that. Like. Also, like, uh, we have we have gold at the <laughs> we have gold on the wagon. You nearly washed away a gold, you know. Like that is not cool. Shush, that is shush. not cool. Like I I want to talk to the manager. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And once again, you hear another flash of water coming. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> All right, sleep back again, right? Because now they know that the intruder is still not flushed out by the first flood. They oh. release the second one. So Maybe they only have two flushes of water. Now you guys need to all make a deck save. Oh god. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay, Mon Montana managed to hold on. And Arias also managed to hold on, but Foreign get like washed down a little bit downstream. And now he's uh, he has another chance to see some rock he can still hold on. Wait. Think saving throw. Can I get a throw on Meteor at them? Why? <laughs> to intimidate them so they don't freaking flush it down again. Oh, I thought you meant me. Oh. <laughs> that would be very rude. Can I do that, Jeremy? You didn't see any goblin in your sight. That's the problem. Oh, oh true that. Coming. And then they heard us, and they were like, "Release the, open the gates again." Yeah. Oh. Like, they, they only he like because you like you didn't actually see the goblins. Is that just Arareus just shout so loud that like they, the entire universe knew you're here, so they just released the flood. Maybe Arareus will learn from this and not shout next time. In the meantime, I'm still trying to not drown. Aha! You managed. You hold on and didn't get drowned. You get it, like blown away by the second by by those like water. But you are still on, in your place and you didn't take any damage. My goodness. How do you manage to do and that? And I sure. think after these debacle, this will conclude today's section. <laughs> cool. cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everyone, press. All right. Now I'm all wet. Yep, stop. <laughs>